Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. 
for the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you, or how have I wearied you? Answer me, for I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery I released you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by, by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah, the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah and there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth,
to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. My dear sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. For those who believe, no proof of sign is necessary. And for those who don't, no amount of proof or sign will be enough. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. No? Ito marahil ang pinaka summary ng ating ibanghelyo ngayon. Narinig natin sa ating pagbasa na again, si Jesus ay nilapitan ng mga pareseyo at mga iskriba at humihingi ng sign, sign from heaven, in order for them to believe in Jesus. But we know for a fact no, that during this time when Jesus was ministering, no, Jesus had worked already a lot of signs no, to back up His claim and His teachings. No. Marang, marami siya, na siyang beses na nagpagaling, no, samot sa haring karamdaman, no, mga bulag, no, nakakakita, mga lumpo, no, nakakalakad, no, mga patay, nabubuhay, no, mga taong nagugutom, napapakain niya ang napakarami. At bakit hindi pa rin sa tingin niyo sila naniniwala? Marahil totoo yung kasabihan, people will believe what they choose to believe. Kahit nandyan na, in front of your noses, ang facts, ang mga signs, posibleng hindi ka pa rin kumbinsido. And we ask, bakit? Bakit? Paano naging ganun? No? Kung dinidistansya mo kasi ang sarili mo no? doon sa pangyayari, no? wala kang affect, no? Wa effect sa'yo yan. <laughs> Hindi ka talaga maa-apektohan yan. No? Kahit anong milagro ang ipakita, no? it will not affect faith but doubts. Manhid. Ika nga, no? Dahil may mga prejudice na sila kay Jesus, no? And we ask, siguro dahil nakikita nila si Jesus na isang threat, no? Dahil karibal, no? May kakompetensya na kami, no? Etong ambilan preacher na to. Etong nagpapakilalang guru, no? Na hindi naman namin kasama sa aming ministry, no? So it's quite understandable, no, my dear brothers and sisters. That's why they keep on challenging, no, the position of Jesus. As the saying goes, haters will be haters. Haters gonna hate, no, and their perception and their doubt colors everything that they see. Kahit hayag na hayag na mga milagro na ginagawa ni Jesus hindi ito tumatalab sa kanilang kalooban dahil punong-puno ng pagmamalaki, pagmamayabang ang kanilang nasa isip. No? And so, my dear friends, no, perhaps today, the Lord is asking us, no, what is our attitude no, towards our personal response to Him? No? Baka madalas din tayong hanap ng hanap ng sign kay God, no? pinapaalalahanan tayo ni Jesus ngayon na sana hindi sayo hingi ng hingi ng kung ano-ano sa ating dinadasal. Whether God grants our prayer or not, may it be an opportunity for us to increase in our faith. Mapalalim ang ating pananalig at pananampalataya sa Kanya. Ito saan ang ating ginagawa, hindi yung palaging china-challenge ang Diyos. Alalahanin natin, hindi nasusukat sa mga milagro no? ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Hindi doon. No? Bagkos ito ay nasusukat saan? Sa katapatan. No? Na kumakapit tayo sa pananampalataya. No? Kagaya ng kanyang pag 
kapit sa atin. No? Kagaya ng hindi niya pag-iwan sa atin, kahit madalas nagiging salawahan tayo. No? God continues to be faithful in His words and in His promise. Even many times, no, we have been so treacherous. No? Napakasalawahan natin. And last thing perhaps no, that we are invited to reflect on today no, is our awareness no, that at times we could be disengaged insofar as our prejudices are working in certain situations. No. Madalas ayaw nating maniwala no, and will never be convinced because of our cognitive biases. No? May mga bias. No? We ask Jesus to help us no? to always use the lenses of faith. No? See the good in everything. No? That we are always capable of appreciation. Capable ba tayo nito? You ask yourself. No? You see, my dear brothers and sisters, no? appreciation kasi, yung capacity mo to appreciate, is actually a sacred thing, a holy thing, a holy activity. No? Because when we look for what is best in a person, we happen to be at that moment what God is doing every time in us. No? Ganun palagi ang ginagawa ng Diyos sa atin. No? ina-appreciate tayo, tinitingnan ang mabuti. And so, in loving and appreciating our neighbor, we are participating something that God does all the time. No? How you make other feels about themselves, no? how you make others feel about themselves, speaks a lot more about that one who gives that opinion. No? Hindi puro duda, hindi puro hinala, hindi puro negative thinking. No? And so, lastly, let us be more kind in our words. It reflects more on us and not on the one we give our opinions to. Amen. Please stand. Jonah discovered that there is no getting away from the Lord. We now turn in prayer to God, the Father, for the grace to change our lives and to believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. In every prayer we all say, God of the prophets, empower us. God of the prophets, empower us. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of the, the prophets, prophets, empower us. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil behaviors and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of the, the prophets, prophets, empower us. That families and communities may always seek peace, unity, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of the, the prophets, prophets, empower us. That the sick may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of the, the prophets, prophets, empower us. That the faithful departed may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of the, the prophets, prophets, empower us. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your Son, as from all eternity you willed his resurrection, associate us with him forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes in the name, in the name of, the Lord. of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. But the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses 
as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only, but only say the say word, the word and, my soul and my soul shall be healed. Shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former race to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.